Here we come to what is, I think it's still the longest bridge in the uh, Philippines with uh, 2100 something uh, meter. It is a new bridge under construction these days and this, made, this video is made in 2023. That will be 3700 meters, something like that in uh, I think it's Mindanao Island. But for now it's still Philippines longest bridge and we are crossing it baby. This is, it's a San Juanico bridge. So what? Juanico. Yep, that's what I said. Did I correct from? Hey. Hey. Oh, big trouble. Big trouble. Problem. Problem, not us. Oh my. But this is a very common sight here in the Philippines. Bad timing that you big problem in the bridge. <laughs> that's very bad timing. It's not a fun place to be in trouble. Welcome to summer. Yeah, now we we coming over to summer. It's all connected with the bridge. Very nice. Whoa! My 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 camera. I know I'm. So yeah, guys. Um, last episode ended on our road trip ended with us uh, keep driving. Um, as you can see, we still are. Just wanted to show you this uh, beautiful, beautiful bridge. They said this is the long, longest in Philippines. Yes, I understand it. It is still the longest. Uh, it will be for short more while. And um, yeah, what can I say? We are going to. Um, what are we going to do actually? <laughs> We're gonna drive for a while more. We just had food. We're gonna drive for a little while more and uh, we take into a hotel along the road somewhere, sometime. And tomorrow morning, I, me and Jessa, we just do what's needed with work before we keep driving and try to get ourselves to Manila, I guess. Unless we change our mind tomorrow if we pass one town that is truly truly beautiful have a nice beach then we just hang out there for a few days after we finish working time will tell we do not have anywhere we have to be so aim is at our side i guess the trip continues and now i can no longer brag about the road sir can we now yes it looks good right here where we're driving now, but uh, ever so often they're horrible. Like, we have to drive 10 to 20 kilometers per hour. So that happened. I'm guessing it's because uh, this place is part of what's always exposed for uh, typhoons and landslides and whatnot so repairing roads here are like we don't repair unless it's if, if it's drivable we don't repair it I think it's the word I'm looking for because my god this is not good at all goes very slow now what do you think about this road babe Good. Oh, well, it looks like new. That is yeah, new. brand new. And then something happened on the street again. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens here in this island. It's very exposed to the forces of nature in uh, in Light Island. Right now we're in some our part of it, but they like mixed together with a bridge. So, yeah. It's just all around super fun driving here. As you can hear in my voice, super excited about this. But we're still thinking about a hotel soon. It's what, 9.20? I'm thinking before 11 o'clock a hotel. And if not, I at least gonna need a couple of cups of coffee. So whatever comes first, I guess. Good morning! Um, we got a bit tired yesterday, so we decided for a 
roadside hotel for the night. We stopped driving like 11. Now it is 6. And we have no pillows this time. We have to buy new ones. But with pillows in the car, it's not hard. And it's warm anyway, so we didn't need blanket. We just use uh, two blankets as our pillows. Yep. And Liam and Jess are sleeping in front there. Guess I made a bed for him, like in between there. And I mean, it's okay, Sid. You're surviving like that once in a blue moon, right? Yeah. It just happened. Uh, things wasn't going our way yesterday with. Uh, San Juan, no, not San, San Juan, that was a uh, bus, that was horrible. And then we come to uh, Red Red Beach, that was in, uh, I don't remember the name of the place. Juan. Yeah. And uh, while that was like everything we really wanted for work and uh, relaxing after, couldn't really do because uh, no internet. Yeah. So we have found internet two places in the whole town. And we can't do like that, so we decided to just keep driving and wouldn't you know it, it was too far to reach to another place at the uh, roadside hotel, yeah? Yep. So we found a couple of resorts, but uh, Jesus Christ, it's like four or five thousand just for sleeping a few hours. That's too much. Very yeah, too, too cheap for that. So this was our hotel for the night. Over there it was a party and uh, I mean... At least we have good seats in our car, like it's really, really okay. I don't even have pain in my back and I have a bad back. I sleep better in my car than in some hotel rooms, so that's okay. But it was warm though, because we can't let it run on aircon all night. That's, uh, that's just no good. <sighs> I see Liam got his own flashlight there now. Oh, mama hanging. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna go to a... We're gonna need coffee and we're gonna need... Uh... We're gonna need coffee and we're gonna need some... Uh, local uh, breakfast or soup, something, something. Yep. So whatever comes first, but that is the two next stops. Usually the calendarias don't have uh, local eateries, they don't have coffee. But... Uh... The roadside uh, Saudi Saudi stores are on the, along the road usually have like a thermos with hot water and uh, some coffee sticks. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, sometimes happens. As you can see, I changed my clothes, brushed my teeth, put on some, uh, so not smelling so bad for Jessa. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> and I guess Jessa did the same for me. Right? Uh, oh god, smells like, nah, it's okay, I brushed my teeth, did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, close to Is me. that true? Ah. <gasps> but I had the water, how could you brush it? Oh, I had the water there, yeah. Okay guys, let's go. I just had some bread for breakfast, got my wife and my son some chicken and rice so whenever they wake up, cause obviously they went straight to sleep as soon as we started driving, both of them. Um, yeah, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're just gonna try to get over to it's on island today so with no other plans than uh, going to Luzon Island and see if we can find a nice uh, nice beach place there where I can do some work tomorrow that will be done do some work tomorrow and uh, and uh, have a couple of days of uh, hanging at the beach and uh, relaxing uh, if not we're just gonna drive straight to Manila I guess just take like one day for work and just try, drive to Manila and have some uh, big city relaxing time in the malls and stuff instead while we're waiting for the last papers to finish and then 
We're going to Norway, guys. Once we come back from Norway, we finish this trip uh, of uh, driving through the Philippines from south to north. Because uh, after Manila, it's not that far left anyways. A couple of days worth of driving. And the reason I do this is I just wanna have done it. I've done many, many things in my life. Like, uh, I've been out in a sailboat for many years. I've been doing a lot of, uh, lot of crazy things. This just adds one on the bucket list. Driving from all the way south of uh, the most southern part of the most southern island of Philippines to the, all the way up north in the most northern island in the Philippines. It's our journey and even if you just find a wheel, a hotel here and there, we're meeting people, we see the difference, we taste the different food because there are different recipes in different islands in different regions I mean, uh, I get to experience it all, guys. It's amazing. And also, it gives me the option to show the world in my channel what Philippines are like in different places and what I cannot show on the camera. I will talk about and you can really understand the different part of uh, the Philippines coming on this journey with me. But now, time to go back to some uh, morbid on my uh, Spotify podcast and uh, just enjoy the route. Still really beautiful uh, scenery um, and still horrible roads. Some places is decent, but most places the roads here are uh, very bad. That happened after we crossed the bridge. The roads are getting a little bit more manageable the further, further north we come and the closer to the boat we come. And the nature, I mean... Uh, Leyte Island, I don't know if it's two different islands because it's a big bridge. I don't know if it's like Leyte Island and uh, some more island or how that works. I will come back to that later. But uh, anyway, uh, from the start of driving on this island and until we here we are now and I'm pretty sure all the way until up north where we take the rural boat over to um, not Manila, the island Manila is on uh, Luzon. Uh, this island, guys, it's so beautiful. And it's very, like, native. There's not so much tourists here. Uh, there's probably a couple of spots with tourists, but there's not much on most of this island as a total, as a whole. It's just... It's just an experience driving through this uh, this place. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad we stopped uh, when we did yesterday so I could see all this beauty with my own eyes in daytime. Driving in nighttime would not have justified uh, at all. It's, uh, yeah. it's just peaceful, relaxing driving like this, especially when you Sit here alone, you have two other people in the car, but you know, they're basically, they're gone. They're far, far into their dream vaults. We're getting to 8.30 now. And, uh, driving through this island is something special for sure. It's so green, it's so beautiful, it's so relaxing, it's very little traffic as a whole. Um, you have to, if you're ever gonna do this after me, drive, drive uh, through this island after me, um, 
You have to be okay with some uh, local eating and stuff because uh, there's only a few places here where they have 7-Elevens only a few places where they have like uh, fast food all, all, all the rest of this island is only it's only local food and some parts it's not even that almost it's uh, like nothing that's all the way south of this island there's almost nothing so yeah I'm very happy driving through this island that's for sure and when we go home when we do our island hopping when we go home after going all the way north Spain in Norway all of that uh, there's a couple of places here we're gonna visit not too many but uh, Red Beach and uh, Memorial Park is one place for sure two places but they're close to each other and um, Jess I wanna go pineapple uh, harvesting and if you come to this uh, not this one, if you come to this island have their pineapple that they sell along the road because uh, honestly you'll be glad you did and you have never ever tasted a better a better uh, pineapple in your whole life and going back to store pineapples after this it's gonna be a bomb it's that good guys another damaged bridge it's so many damaged bridges like we passed one like 10 minutes ago two minutes ago so many road constructions because of landslides most of them are from landslides right yes but we definitely seen uh, areas with uh, houses it's like they surrender a building now because typhoons keep destroying them but this island has a reputation for being very exposed to the weather and driving through all of it, it shows. Is that true? Yeah? Yes. Most definitely. <laughs> We're getting close. The boat is like half an hour away. So very that's good what's here. happening. Uh, apple, very good. The crew having some fun, I guess. So we got lucky, we got with the boat at 11 a.m. Super happy with that. Jump, boys, come on, jump. Ah, all red, no jumping. They're just traveling off the shoes. Wonder why. Washing? I don't know. No more jumping it looks like. Yeah, there they come. There we come. It's very scared. It's very high. Come on boy, you can do it. I'm filming you. My god. That one. One, two, three, go. Come on boys, Come on. it's not dangerous. I have done that many times. <laughs> ah, they don't want. I bet they would do it if it was girls watching. There you go, oh! <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, I'm not going to jump off. Yeah. <laughs> That was great. Come on! What is that? I have no idea. It's raining them? <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, time for me to prepare to drive onto the boat. I think I'm up in a truck, so... Yep. Then we are on the boat. As you can see here. My god, we really made it onto the boat this time. But uh, Jessa has some tricks up her sleeve, so we got to, uh, got on it right. It was, it was actually full when we arrived, but uh, 
sometimes magic happens you know uh yeah as the interesting thing is uh, everybody asking for tip here in this uh in this mm -hmm. what was this called port yeah tip for everything but uh that's okay i guess uh, thinking yeah just giving small guess uh, thinking that I i'm one of very few white people here and uh, maybe they're thinking that uh, I am new to the country, don't really know how it works, but uh, like the guy guiding me onto the boat asked for tip after he getting me onto the boat. <laughs> uh, how many boats I've been taking in this country now? Like 20? Right. It's never happened before. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I heard him say tip, but just I must have heard wrong, right? Because this is your job. But it's okay. I gave him what? I gave him some small change. I don't mind, but it's, it seems strange to me. Anyway, that never happened anywhere else, but on this port here, on this uh, island, I don't know. Alan? 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 Alan Seaport. Al Hi! So, what are you doing? Yeah. That was that. Not exactly how it's supposed to be. But me and Jessa thought uh, later was uh, something it was not. But it was incredibly beautiful, though, I have to say that. And so, uh, I will talk more about the later, later. But now, it's raining. We tried to go up, but the boat is so full today, so we just sit in the car, having the aircon on, and uh, I'm gonna put on a movie or something on the TV there. We have uh, Netflix, so all good. I think I have some downloaded episode of something there. Uh, one and a half hour boat trip. Yep. So a couple of hours and because Philippines. Don't, don't film me, Emma. We are changing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Privacy. 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 What is this? Yeah. <laughs> now, so since things was a little bit different in later than we expected, mm -hmm. however, it is incredibly beautiful. The problem is internet there. Basically everywhere is no internet and me and Jessa have some seriously needed work to do so that's that So now we have no idea still where we're going We what's the name of the port we're coming to now? Um, yeah, it's something something so when we get there we're gonna sit down have a coffee and I figure out if there's a nice place nearby if not, we're gonna go to just a roadside hotel around two nights because I need one full day for work. And Jessa too now, I think, need one full day for work. Yep. And Liam needs to do something, so working and uh, doing something with Liam then. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, either we stay for four or five days and have a really nice, uh, what's we calling that, like a resort and at the beach. If we can't find, just do our outside hotel and uh, go straight to Manila after, I guess. Uh, in a couple of drives straight to Manila and uh, just drive until we get tired, sleep and uh, finish. Anyway, that's it for for so far. Um, I guess that ends uh, this episode because New island, new episode, I guess. So, for the next episode, you know where to find it. Yeah. It's just uh, following this one. If it's not there already, it will come soon. Obviously, if you watch this two years down the road, it will be there a long time ago. In today's video, you've seen us uh, drive over the San Juanico Bridge and uh, crossing through all of uh, Summer Island. I was talking a little bit about in the video if it's the same island or if it's two different and it is Light Island and after San Juanico Bridge it is a Summer Island. Obviously that's why the bridge. Stupid me, but yeah. Um, it's still the, the longest bridge in the Philippines as I understand it, but a new and bigger is on the way so it won't be for much longer. So we did this drive in uh, one... Uh, in one go, and we ended up down here in uh, Al Allen, Allen, yeah, in Allen Terminal. 
and uh, this is where we crossed over to Luzon, which is where Manila is, and this is um, the end goal for now, Manila. Um, we're gonna go to Norway. If it will happen, if all the papers and everything works out, you will find out at a later video. But for now, that is the plan. So let's talk a little bit about the kids diving in the boat. It's uh, I don't understand why the ferry company and the captains allow it, but they do. So here we are. Um, this is kids diving from the boat. The diving after coins that tourists throws into the water. Uh, they dive for them and also they walk around in the boat and uh, beg for money basically. So that's how that works. It happened in uh, Allen and it happened on the other side of Allen in uh, the Luzon, in the Luzon uh, part of the destination. Where was that? What was that name? I have no idea. Just following the blue line and it is Matnog, Port of Matnog. They're here too. So yeah. That happened. Um, not much more to report. Uh, yeah, one thing. When we crossed the bridge, the road got considerably worse. At the end of the journey, when we got closer to Allen, it was uh, pretty okay. But for most part, in Samar Island, the roads were rough, guys. Had to drive really carefully. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of cars get damaged by the the way they drive there, because they're driving fast. In Philippines, people drive fast, no matter how the road is. Do not consider that they're destroying their car completely. And uh, it is what it is. When it's bumpy like that, we take it easy to save the car. Not everybody do. But anyway, um, that was it for this leg. It was a very enjoyable ride. It was a beautiful scenery. I do not think uh, Samar and uh, Leyte is very much of tourist destinations, but I will find out and talk more about that at a later point. For now, stay tuned for our travel towards Manila in Luzon Island. And on that note, thanks for watching and until next time, see you!